good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So last night was a very, very interesting night. Uh, I'll have to show you a little bit of that right here before we really get started for the day. Well, it's one o'clock in the morning, or two. I'm really not sure. I still don't know quite how the time zone is working. But I woke up. Uh, you know, that's the only unfortunate thing about staying at these campgrounds uh, is the camp host just kind of had a sign up that was like off duty when I pulled in and so I went to an electronic kiosk and checked in no rules no real like you know hey don't do this hey do that so I'm here uh, it's the middle of the night and uh, I had my tent right over here where these sandals are yeah, so I had this tent right here, staked down, nice, yeah, and uh, that sprinkler came on, and it is spraying like 60 feet, and it covers this whole grass area, and then it just kind of stops right here at the edge of the um, concrete and then goes back the other way and completely completely gets my tent so now I've got my um, footprint drying I have got my sleeping bag drying up here. Tent is soaked. And I think you can see one little dry spot there where my feet were. But my sleeping pad is soaked. The entire inside of the tent is soaked. Oh man. I mean, I'm soaked. Like, I got my shower. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. But, uh, you know, this kind of stuff is always going to happen in all of our walks. There's no doubt about it. You're going to face opposition. Opposition. You're going to face contrary winds. I can think of at least one time that Jesus sent the disciples in the boat into the storm just so he could show, you know, that he's God. I love you guys. And I'll see you later. Yeah. So, that totally reminds me of Ingo Tophoven and Lucas Tophoven. On their ride through Colorado, they had the same thing happen. And uh, I should have been paying attention. I should have knew. <laughs> There's green grass out here in the middle of the desert. It probably has a sprinkler, a sprinkler on at night. But I didn't. And uh, I paid for it. Good news is everything was dry when I woke up this morning. Since it's so like, you know, it was so hot. It's supposed to be 110 down in this valley today. Uh, but since it's so hot uh, and there's no humidity, you know, just dried right out. The cool thing is, is I've got cloud cover to climb out of Snake River Canyon here. So I'm super stoked about that. There's thousands of birds over me and a lot of clouds too. I don't know if you can see the birds or not. But they're uh they're just up here flying around. That's why I keep looking away. Um anyway, so yeah. Uh this is day 33 of riding my bicycle across the United States for addiction recovery awareness. And uh yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it like I'm sure I will. I love you. I'll see you later. So about two miles from uh, the campground that I stayed at at Woodhead Park, uh, there's a store called the Gateway uh, Grocery Store, and they have a cafe and breakfast. So I got some Coca-Cola and the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit with two different kinds of cheese on it. It looks amazing, so I'm going to dig in.
Well, going up this hill out of the Snake River uh, Valley is not that bad. It's actually kind of pleasant. Maybe a five degree grade all the way up. It's not anything too rough. There's a couple little bitty spots uh, where you have to pedal pretty hard. Well, I made it halfway without getting off the bike. I assume I'll be able to do the same thing on the way to the top. Although, you know, me and assumptions put a tent down in a grassy area, get soaking wet from the sprinklers. We'll see. all you got Idaho no that's too easy no those last two miles were uh, harder than all the first five but I've done it I am out of the Snake River Canyon and headed downhill to Cambridge where I have a package from my wife waiting on me at the post office it should be delivered today uh, I'm also probably going to stop and wash clothes and uh, maybe have my bike looked at. I need to get the bottom bracket serviced. Coming up this last couple of uh, major hills, it's kind of made this squeaking noise. So I want to take care of that before I go all the way up into Missoula. So I may take, a, take an afternoon off after putting in about 25 miles today, but I don't know. I may make an evening ride up to Mesa and make the 40. Y'all will know before I do. Surely goodness, surely mercy are right beside me all my days. And I will dwell in your house for Alright, so I just got here to the post office in Cambridge, Idaho, and my wife sent me some more stickers, and I sent back my electrical uh, plug. It's like a nine outlet thing. I've been having to charge each thing if I get to a two outlet plug individually, wake up all throughout the night, change the uh, items over. So, don't have to do that anymore. Uh, I'm about to go get a hamburger at Awesome Burger here in Cambridge. And then I'm going to start looking around town and seeing if there is a laundromat and those kind of things. Uh, maybe somewhere to camp so that I can get that work done because I need to get laundry done. <laughs> I need a shower too. Uh, anyway, I'm about to go get uh, that burger and you'll see that in just a minute. Alright, so I stopped in here to Awesome Burger and it is awesome. I went ahead and got The awesome burger, which has cheese and onions and all kinds of good stuff on it. Uh, it also came with some fries and ranch and ketchup. And uh, Judy, who is, uh, I guess, running the place or serving me today, uh, is walking around with a six-shooter on her hip, which I think is so cool. Uh, anyway, so I'm sitting here looking on my phone, and I look up in Council. There's a coffee shop slash laundromat, a bike camping and RV park so it looks like I will be going farther today the laundromat coffee shop isn't open until 7 a.m. tomorrow it opens from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day uh, so yeah I'm headed to council I was able to get my package here in Cambridge and then now that's gonna be my next stop
Surely goodness, surely mercy are right beside me all my days, and I will dwell in your house forever and bless your holy name. All right, so it's getting dark pretty quick. Uh, I got my tent set up right over here. And uh, I pulled in here to the Trailside RV and Bicycle Park. It is awesome. Uh, they've got a laundromat. They've got showers. Uh, they're doing a bunch of construction, building an office and all that kind of stuff. It's listed on the map as Wiser RV uh, Park. Uh, but this place is worth the stop. It's in Council, Idaho. Uh, so I rode about 48 miles today and uh, that's it. <laughs> I had uh, several thousand feet of climbing to do also inside of that. But I've got my laundry ready to go. I'm about to go get this shower that I've been needing for the last few days. He also had quarters. Awesome. Uh, can't find those anymore. Has the coin shortage affected you? Uh, it's affecting me. Anyway, so that's it for the night. Uh, look, if you know anybody who has passed away from addiction, please drop me a name. Uh, either in the comments or on Facebook. Find me on Facebook, Adam Lineberry, Mobile, Alabama. And I would love to pedal for your person for a day. Uh, if you know anybody who's actively addicted, share this with them. Maybe, you know, they'll see something that, or hear something, uh, that'll want to pull them out of what they're doing. I'm, you know, uh, the world's worst at uh, falling into that cycle. And so, you know, I've only got love for people to get out. Uh, if you know anybody who's in recovery, share this with them. Celebrate recovery groups, churches, whatever. Share it with your uh, with your people and let them know what we're out here doing. I mean, we're doing this together. Uh, and then, yeah, um, don't forget that Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. I'll put a link in the description. You can donate uh, through their website and you can make a one-time donation or a monthly donation. It's whatever the Lord puts on your heart. So with that, from here in Council, Idaho... I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Have a good night.